Hello, Internet friends. Welcome once again. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I am again on Chief Architect version Premiere X9 on my iMac desktop computer. Today's tip is regarding uh, bay windows and in particular how I do it now um, without using the bay window tool under the windows option. Um, that is useful in some cases, but in many cases I find it just doesn't give me the um, flexibility and control that I really want um, to do. It is nice when it's useful, um, but in this particular situation it's not because um, one is I don't want the side windows. Um, I know I can remove those from the bay window tool. Um, the other is I want three windows in front, and I just want a little more flexibility of modeling and um, sizing, um, dimensioning, etc. So I'm going to walk through this with you and just show you how I do it. I've drawn already the exterior walls. Uh, we've got a 12 inch projection off of the um, existing wall there and I've sized and placed the three windows that I want as well. Now this is not going to be a walkout bay. Um, it's actually going to have a seat here, so I'm going to click inside this room space and tab until I reach the room. I'm going to use Command E on my PC. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know Command, um, sorry, Command on my Apple is the same as Control on your PC. So if you're on a PC, you'd be using Control E. Um, I'm going to change this structure to be 24 inches off the uh, floor. And then I'm going to change the floor structure to be a 2 by 8 Come on. Double click on that 9 and highlight it, change it to 7. And that's set for that. Now before I did that, I should point out that I um, have these three objects, three windows set at 80 inch header height, absolute, not from floor. And I I changed it to absolute so that it would not move when I changed the floor height of this room. Now in the past sometimes I would have um, changed this wall in between the two yellow walls uh, to be like an interior wall so that there's um, uh, drywall you know in the proper place or whatever. Uh, I might have I might have broken that wall and pulled the top down to the level of 24 inches. But that really doesn't allow and show for um, above and below the um, bay. So I'm going to use the window pass-through tool. And I'm going to open that. I'm also going to change this to the absolute elevation reference as well. I'm going to give it an elevation top of 84 inches. And I want a height of 56, not quite, uh, 62. There we go. So, I'm sorry, 60. So the top's at 84, the bottom's at 24, which is where this seat will be. And then I'm going to, um, for now, for illustration purposes, I'm going to hit the C key on my keyboard and pull that over all the way. Let's take a rendering view from the inside. Not a bad look yet. Let's take a view from the outside. I'm going to do Shift K on my keyboard as the shortcut for your uh, perspective full overview. And Actually that's looking pretty good from the exterior as well so far. Now, you will notice, let's turn off plants. My foundation is coming up into the space there, so I'm going to bring that down. Whoops, good enough. Now we're set. Uh, in a little bit, I will show you how I trim this out, but let's go back to plan view. Let's 
go to the camera view for now. Um, I'm going to first of all uh, change this and I'm going to remove the interior casing option. That's a good start, but I also want this framing off. I just want that to wrap as drywall, so I'm going to click on frame. I double clicked on the uh, pass through object and it just remove has frame. That does make this um, siding appear, uh, which is kind of frustrating. If you want to um, remove that, uh, you may have to actually cover it up with a polyline solid. Uh, at this point, I'm not I'm not presenting it uh, to or showing this to a client where they just said they want this, so I'm putting it on the plans, modeling it up, putting it on the plans. Last little bit is I'm going to double click in this room, so I'm going to click on the floor and go to the moldings and delete that molding, and I'm going to delete the crown as well, the base and the crown. So the header comes down just a little bit. We can continue the um, crown in this living space. We've got the uh, bay projecting out 12 inches. We've got a little bit of a seat here. Uh, I do need to turn these into tempered glass option there. The exterior looks fine for my elevations. Uh, I will need to... Um, now do my trim. I'm going to put some corner molding, corner trim on there, and we're going to extend that out to be, uh, let's say, I think that eight inches might work, not quite. Let's make it nine. That works there. I will take a back clipped cross section of the front. And I'm going to do a wall material here. I'm also going to remove the um, sill on the exterior, so, or apron, I should say. Not the sill. We'll leave the sill. Remove the apron. Pull that up. And give that the same material as the as the um, corner boards. I'm going to zoom in and just make sure that goes all the way past the corner board here, so we just see the one line. I'll take a back clip cross section of this view. You can take the corner board all the way up just for modeling and, and uh, you know the view perspective of, of the uh, construction docks. One, list, one last back clipped cross section. And one more wall material. Polyline. Paint the material on there. Let's look at our full overview from the exterior. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. Front elevation. at the header. So what I can do is I'm going to select all three of these and change the lintel. Use an exterior lintel and make that say eight inches. There we go. Command W or, or uh, Control W just closes that window and we're going to go to the full overview. There we have it.
Last little thing I am noting is um, just our materials are a little interesting here. Oh, what was that called? Um, something maple. There we go. Light maple. That's what I'm, that's what I'm wanting. Light maple. Click OK, OK, OK. Now our textures <laughs> work there. Um, all right, so there's our, our uh, bay window with the trim. Interior and exterior look appropriate. We can close that section. Let's look on the interior. Other than this siding bleeding through and having to cover that up, uh, the interior looks looks good as well. If you wanted to, um, you know, change this material of this room, floor material, you know, like into a cushion or something, that might be appropriate if you're presenting this as well. Hey, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I hope this has been helpful and in, uh, enlightening for you. If uh, you learned something, I would appreciate the encouragement. Leave a thumbs up down below. As always, you can subscribe um, or check out other Tech Tip uh, Tuesday videos on my uh, playlist there. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful week.